Mastering Ophelos' weapon cycles is the key to mastering Ophelos himself. Not only do his 5 weapons have 5 different dollar attack effects, but each weapon's ability also has a different effect depending on what his offhand is. In order to succeed on Ophelios, you need to constantly maintain weapon combinations that will always give you your strong ability effects. Once you learn to do this, it will dramatically improve your effectiveness on the champion. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to optimally cycle Ophelos' weapons, and why each weapon combination is so effective. First off, when you start the game with red-green, you need to deplete red before you deplete green. You can use green autos and cues whenever necessary, but the weapon that runs out of ammo first has to be red, leaving you with green and purple. After getting rid of red, you are left with green-purple. This combination is good because it's the only combination that gives green Q a useful secondary effect. When you hit an opponent with green Q, it allows you to hit them with a long-range auto which also procs your secondary effect. All of these secondary effects suck in this situation, except for purple. Purple turns your green Q into a long range slow, which you can then importantly also turn into a root using purple Q. Every single weapon effect sucks when only applied on one auto, but because purple also enables you to hit a purple Q, no matter how far away the target is, it actually turns green Q into a long range pick tool, rather than only poke. The poke is nice, but green purple is the only combination that turns it into more than just poke. Next you get rid of green, which leaves you with purple blue. Now this is sort of a placeholder combination because neither weapon really benefits much from offhand effects, both are just really strong regardless of what your offhand is. So here you just get to enjoy using either blue or purple depending on which is more useful for you in any given situation, but of course you want to make sure you're depleting purple first. This leaves us with blue-white. This is a decent combination because using blue Q on a wave will suddenly give you one chakra per minion out of nowhere, which can catch opponents off guard if you proceed to fight with them. But this is the only time in the game you'll have this combination since there are more important combinations to achieve, and this one is quite cheesy and easy to avoid. Get rid of blue to end up with white and red. This is a much more effective combo to use to stack up chakrams because so long as you stay in auto attack range of an enemy during your Q cast, you can consistently generate 4 to 5 chakrams per cast, and that should be easy to achieve if you're in a fight. The ease with which you can generate chakrams on top of having access to red ult for a massive heal in case you drop too low makes this the best dueling combination by far. After this, get rid of red to end up with white and green. By placing a white Q, the turret will mark anyone it hits with a green mark, which allows you to auto-attack them from a very large distance. This auto-attack also hits the target with any chakrams you have, and gives you one extra chakram. Since white Q has a very low cooldown, the amount of damage you can deal this way in drawn-out fights is immense. And with how far away you can be while still autoing, it just doesn't even feel fair. For this reason, this combination can be a great zoning tool, since enemies don't want to be getting in range of the turret before it's dead. After this you get rid of white, and this leaves us once again with purple-green. From here on out, to maintain the cycle, you only need to get rid of the oldest weapon in your inventory, and it'll permanently maintain the cycle you want. So in this instance, you get rid of green to end up with blue and purple. You get rid of the oldest weapon, which is purple, to end up with blue-red. Now blue is your oldest weapon, so you get rid of that, and end up with red-white. And so on. Once you've correctly depleted your weapons on your first cycle, every cycle after that becomes easy to maintain, just by following the rule of depleting your oldest weapon. Now what happens when you accidentally mess up the cycle? Don't panic because it's a very easy fix. Let's say we're on red-white and we accidentally deplete white first, leaving us with red-green. After this we just continue using our weapons in the order we should have been using, getting rid of red to get purple-green, getting rid of green to get blue-purple, and getting rid of purple which then leaves us with blue-white instead of blue-red, as a consequence of our mistake. Here we just simply continue depleting blue, and we now end up with red-white, and our correct cycle can continue. The only real consequence is that you've robbed yourself of an opportunity to use white-green, and we're instead stuck with red-green. But all you have to do is continue depleting your oldest weapon first until you get back to the part of the cycle you messed up, and then deplete your newer weapon first to correct the cycle. That's it for my fellow's weapon management guide, I hope you found this helpful. Make sure to subscribe for more guides and educational ADC content, and I'll see you guys next time.